Happy and blessed Divine Mercy Sunday. Hello, Father James Kubicki here, and on this second Sunday of Easter, we have the gospel story of how Thomas came to believe that Jesus was risen from the dead. How did he come to believe? By touching the wounds on the risen body of Jesus. Isn't it curious that the risen body of Christ still had the wounds in his hands, feet, and side? Here's what Pope Francis had to say about this. At the heart of this Sunday are the glorious wounds of the risen Jesus. He had already shown those wounds when he first appeared to the apostles on the day of the resurrection, but Thomas was not there that evening. And when the others told him that they had seen the Lord, he replied that unless he himself saw and touched those wounds, he would not believe. A week later, Jesus appeared once more to the disciples gathered in the upper room. Thomas was also present. Jesus turned to him and told him to touch his wounds. Whereupon that man, so straightforward and accustomed to testing everything personally, knelt before Jesus with the words, My Lord and my God. The wounds of Jesus are a scandal, a stumbling block for faith, yet they are also the test of faith. That is why on the body of the risen Christ, the wounds never pass away. They remain, for those wounds are the enduring sign of God's love for us. They are essential for believing in God, not for believing that God exists, but for believing that God is love, mercy, and faithfulness. St. Peter, quoting Isaiah, writes to Christians, By his wounds you have been healed.